sorry, that was a phone call from Texas. Some person was selling home security systems and said, don't you want to protect your family? And I said, hey, if I want to protect my family, I'll buy a Colt 45. Thank you very much. Hung up on me. Yeah, and as you can tell, I'm kind of a pro-Second Amendment kind of a girl. Anyway, back to the article. In an earlier post, I talked about never accepting I don't know for an answer when confronting disordered characters. See the article Neurosis versus Character Disorder, Levels of Awareness. That's because they're not only keenly aware of the things they do that other people have a problem with, but they also know full well what their own motivation was for doing those things. They also know that neurotics are very hesitant to believe this. That's not only because neurotics find it uncomfortable to accept the notion that not everyone is of benign character, but also because traditional psychological schools of thought have never adequately identified and correctly defined character disturbance and the kinds of behaviors typically associated with it. So I advise people who might be in relationships with disturbed characters to be aware of the tactics they frequently use to evade responsibility and manipulate others. And if there's one thing I've learned well over the years is that whenever you confront a disturbed character on their inappropriate behavior, you need to stay focused on those problem behaviors no matter how clueless or innocent they might act. The end. Let's just start a new article here so you, you don't get like a 20 second video. Okay, Evasion and Diversion as Manipulation Tactics. Ooh, this looks good. By Dr. George Simon, PhD. No wonder. Uh, CounselingResource.com Sidestepping and misleading, rather than being accountable and responsible, what the issue dodger and subject changer really wants is to advance their own agenda at the expense of yours, while simultaneously managing your impression of them. I've been presenting... I've been presenting a series of articles on certain behaviors common to disturbed characters. These behaviors serve as vehicles of resistance to accepting the principles of social responsibility and are also effective tactics of manipulation and impression management. Some of the behaviors we've explored so far include rationalization, blaming, and minimization. All these behaviors create problems in relationships, but perhaps no behaviors are as frustrating to someone trying to elicit some degree of accountability from another person as are the tactics of evasion and diversion. A moving target is hard to hit. If you tr try to confront an issue head-on, a person who wants to manipulate you will do your best to sidestep the issue. Evading a matter of central concern is a great way not only to dodge responsibility, but to also keep the light of illumination from shining on the behavior needing attention. I remember a conversation between a woman who tried to confront her husband about the infidelity she suspected, when he responded that he certainly understood how she might be suspicious because he'd been working so hard lately. He effectively sidestepped the issue. This woman had the moxie to continue pressing the issue, but the more she tried to pin him down, the more evasive he became, combining his issue-dodging tactic with other tactics. The tactic of diversion often goes hand-in-hand -hand with evasion. Sometimes when you try to pin down someone, someone intent on manipulating you, they'll effectively change the subject, focusing attention on some other related or even tangential issue. <coughs> this emotional slate of hand is an effective way to keep attention focused on almost anything else but the matter which is being raised. Many times, attention is shifted towards the person trying to bring a problem behavior to light, thus effectively not only throwing that person on the defensive, but also prompting them to lose focus and become derailed in their pursuit of their own agenda. Diversion and evasion are two effective means of deflecting concern or confrontation about problem behaviors. It is axiomatic that the person using these tactics has no intention whatsoever of taking responsibility for a behavior or of considering changing it. Rather than being accountable and responsible, what the issue dodger and subject changer really wants to do is advance their own agenda at the expense of yours, while simultaneously managing your impression of them. Such tactics are employed very effectively by political talking heads when they are grilled by news commentators who have serious questions about the pol policies being endorsed. As a result, they stay on meshes while looking good and remaining convincing, despite what they know are flaws in their positions. <laughs>